Hey y'all, so today we're back and we have a review. Today we're gonna be reviewing the NARS Soft Matte Foundation and I'm also gonna be using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer with it as well. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. This retails for $40 and you get 1.5 fluid ounces. So it is a high-end concealer, um, not in terms of like performance because I haven't tried it yet, so yet this will be my first time um in terms of price it is pricey and the shade i got was new caledonia it says deep number two and then for the concealer the shade i wear is amandi and it says medium dark three i'm just color swatching this on my chin so you guys can see i do feel like i lucked out and got a really good color match for this i feel like it matches my undertones and everything perfectly and to apply this i'm using this flat bookie brush from sigma i feel like these types of brushes work really well with liquid foundation and they blend them out really well especially ones that are dual fiber um i feel like this foundation did blend in really well um, and you didn't have to work with it really fast to get the desired effect that you were looking for. Um, overall, I feel like it performed really well during application, so I had no issues there. So that's just like my first layer of foundation. I do feel like it is a full coverage foundation. I believe it's advertised as that as well. Um, there are just like some problem areas that I personally have that no matter what foundation I'm using, I always go over them twice. Um, I do feel like this shade was a decent shade match. Um, I didn't go in store to shade match. I ordered this online. Um, the finish of it is definitely a soft matte. It's not, it's not like um, a, a true matte where it feels like super dry or anything. It's definitely not radiant at all. So, that's the foundation. So for the soft matte concealer, I'm using the shade Amandi. And because this is a thicker concealer, I like to take a bit out of the pot and warm it up on the back of my hand. Because it is thicker, I feel like that helps with blending it in um, and getting the consistency that I want. All right, y'all. So we have our makeup look finished. Um, so... For the foundation, I would definitely try to see if you can get a sample first before you actually like pay the full $40 for it or like buy it from somewhere like Sephora where you're able to exchange it for a different shade if you do use it. For the price, I I feel like the how much you get in this bottle is pretty standard. Um, so you are paying $40 for 1.5 fluid ounces. That is a little steep, I will say. And I'll definitely say it is a nice foundation. Like the feel of it is nice on your skin. It actually feels very lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel like you have much on your skin at all. But I do feel like you have drugstore options that are available to you that will give you the same feel. I am gonna keep using it. It's not something, I've definitely had things that I bought to review for you guys that I've just never used again. I definitely feel like she's gonna get some use because I do like the feel of it. And now that my makeup is like most like done, I do like the look of it as well. As for the NARS concealer, I don't think I've ever reviewed this or told you guys my thoughts on this before. The concealer is nice. I feel like personally, I like this more for something like if I'm just using it for day to day to spot conceal or to just really quickly conceal under my eyes. I feel like if you're using this like as like a full face, it kind of reacts weird with different setting powders. I do prefer like more of a liquidy versus like a cream concealer. That's just my personal preference. If you like a more heavy duty, thicker concealer, then she's your girl because she is pretty thick with three C's. Okay. I really like how this makeup look came out. I used the Patrick Star One Size palette on my eyes. I have on some Ardell lashes and then I used the new Maybelline Lifter Gloss. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers so we can do a giveaway. And then also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Niara Alexis. And I will see you guys next time.